Hi, my name is Jensen. I'm the co-founder of Border Movement. The goal of bordering is that you only try and use one colour to reach the top. For bordering, it's a subset of rock climbing. It's like rock climbing that's stripped down to its essentials. All our problems are graded by numbers. It's, uh, it's going to be a full body workout, not just uh, physically but mentally as well because uh, ultimately it's problem solving on the wall. Okay, so Jensen, so. I have absolutely no experience in bouldering. Okay. What can I learn in two weeks? A lot, in fact. If you uh, commit to it, uh, if you get started and then you go through the basics, okay. I'm pretty sure I can bring you up to a intermediate level climber in two weeks. Okay, I'm going to have to teach you how to push with your feet, more than pull with your hands. Push with your feet first, then pull with your arms. Reach as high as you can and tiptoe. Yeah, good. My calves are already cramping up. Oh my <laughs> God. It's not just about brute force, pulling hard, but rather it's learning how to position your body well, how to uh, move the ebb and flow of each climb. I thought you did really well. Huh. And we're gonna work up towards your, your challenge. So for my bouldering challenge, I have two weeks to reach level 15 on the boulder movement board. Before 15, there are a bunch of other grades. So you would probably start off at a grade, say, 2 to 3. Okay. And you can move up to grade 7, grade 10. Then eventually, there are a bunch of like 15s within the gym. I'm going to have you choose one. We've got a bunch of angles within the gym. Each of these walls, uh, the, the style of climbing is going to be a little bit different. But it's always going to be a grade 15. So, Jensen, how did I do today? Are you just saying that because you want me to come back? <laughs> After the first session, I was very confident, primarily because I managed to reach level 7, which is about halfway of what I need to be on just as a first lesson. So, I was very pumped and confident that I'll be able to continue. On the second training, my arms and my shoulders started to ache. So, I learned how to grip the boulders and um, the different finger holes accordingly, how to cut my hands and my palms around the different holes. Day 5 of training, we're done. I'm beginning to feel really sore on my triceps. My calluses are forming, but I'm very used to it. I am already at level 14 and it's only day 5, so I'm feeling really pumped and excited. I really hope that I can do maybe 15 before the challenge day itself so that I can practice a fluid 15. Today was not a good day. I was extremely tired. When I had to stretch my legs out to do like to put my legs on two different planes of planes of the wall, I could feel my legs like telling me to stop. I was very stagnant, I couldn't go beyond a 14. My arms started to hurt. I only had like four days left before the actual challenge day. My hands are shaking. Can you see it? I couldn't even lift my arms high enough to drink water. So that's how sore it was, even though I stretched a lot. So I've not touched a single 15, so I was really worried that I wouldn't be able to reach it at all. I did a few practice uh, before I started on the 15. So I did some basic 7s and 8s just to warm up my muscle memory and to get my blood flowing and the muscles going. So of the many great 15s in the gym, which one do you feel like you want to challenge yourself on? Uh, honestly, I like the yellow 15 on the overhang wall, so I'm going to try that one. Oh, the yellow 15? Wow, that one is challenging. Oh no! <laughs> if you want the challenge, ideally, you should only be using that yellow colour. But because it's overhanging and you haven't developed the pulling strength necessary to do this problem, I'm going to give you two helping holes on them. Um, I'm going to point them out to you. They wouldn't be yellow colour, but you would be able to use them to help you complete the problem. Okay, that gives me a little bit of hope. I'm so excited. Okay, let's, let's do this. Okay, so Friday, uh, I'm going to give you a helping hole. Okay, so this pink hole in the middle here will be your helping hole. Yeah, good. Pull hard and go. Nice. Very good. Yes, good. Okay, special move. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I noticed that the midpoint was where I struggled the most, and so that was when I decided to use the help holes. Step with your right foot. Yeah, good. Helping hole, go for it. 
Yes, good. And then go again. Go. Yes, good. Swing step. Yes, good. Well done. And then left hand go. Come on, go. Come on. Fast one. It's a fast one. Yes, good. And last move. And go. Step high and go. So your left leg has to come off. Come on. Good job. <laughs> Ended up like your hand was around here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If it was a little bit more to the right, you would have gotten the, the last hole. Sink in low, so your hands are mostly straight. And push and follow through. So you see my left foot, it has to come off. If my left foot stays there, it's going to hold me back. So once it comes off, and then you can match and end. Okay, so this last hole is a jug. It's really big, really comfortable. Good. Smear and go. Right hand go. Come on. <laughs> okay, nice. Go. Come on. Yeah, good. And then last move. Last move. Come on. Go for it. Come on. Good. <laughs> nice. Okay, very good. So you touched it already. So in, uh, in climbing, there's this saying that uh, if you can touch the hole, you can grab onto it. So I, I, I mean that fail the challenge, no? Uh, not really. I mean, I, I don't see it as a failure, per se. Yeah, um, it's really more the process, the, the journey. Okay, you got your answer. Come on, yeah, good. <laughs> okay, yeah, at least I touched, I touched it. So that's not too bad, right? For sure, in my book, that is very good already. Okay. <laughs> I'll take it, I'll take it. Well, bouldering has been exciting journey. I have to admit my arms and my shoulders and my legs were a lot more sculpted than it was two weeks prior when I had no, no experience at all. There was always an end point in sight and it was easier for you not to give up. Bouldering definitely helped me expand my uh, tenacity in terms of mental strength and obviously physical as well um, and I would definitely see myself going back to bouldering movement to try.